Uh, but tonight we're going to start off with um, Crossfire from Coco, I think it was. Now, this was on the, the queue a while ago, and it just mysteriously disappeared. Uh, and then it was actually back at the top of my queue and um, was back in the uh, requests that they've uh, had it private while they've sorted some issues, and uh, it's now back. So, yeah, looking forward to getting this. What's going on, Doctress? Hope you're well. How's things with you, buddy? Uh, so I've been in a very much time during the development of this test chamber, which delayed its release longer than it should have. I thank you for considering to check this out. If you're like you're wanting more after solving this, just you're trying, it's just trying to find a way to access the companion cube in the office area. Mika gifting the sub to Engine Artist. Thank you very much, Mika. Engine Artist, welcome, welcome, welcome. The red carpet has royally been rolled out for you tonight from uh, from Mika. Thanks, Mika legend uh, i'm good thanks doctress very good myself thank you frank thank you uh special thanks to darville for giving me tips with the bts area all right so this is the sort of uh, map that we like we're gonna have um some bts um exploration in this one we always like a good secret in a map I like to uh find things so uh yeah all righty then how's college going doctress he will, uh, he will settle in with college. Yo, nerdling! You do have the purple end. You do indeed. How you doing, nerdling? Crazy's here as well. What's going on, crazy? Welcome, welcome. And, uh, of course, we don't like, uh, we don't like those. Okay, so instantly... We have a couple of turrets that want to kill us. <laughs> this map is old. Uh, I don't think it's that old. Nerdling? Uh, no, it was... Oh, sorry. It's a year old. Sorry, yeah. They must have taken it off and, and like, fixed some stuff. So, I guess that's the... Um, that's the that's the office where we're gonna get into. All right, we're already off the beaten trap. There's a companion cube. That door is totally open. I should totally be able to get in there. Got the portal controls for a minute. Then I was trying to crouch and I couldn't crouch. By pressing the right button, knock. It's going meh. Well, that doesn't sound too good, Doctress. Alright, so we've got to find a way into here, then, I guess, to get the companion cube at some point. No broken glass there, so we can't get out of there, I'll say. The plan is bendy. Hi, bendy. There's a vent there. That's why I thought maybe we could use the... Uh, we could take something off the vent in this other room and maybe, like, make our way through. But it doesn't seem like that is the case, so... Maybe there's a button or something that we have to press. Yeah, they mean access it, not just find it. So, more to this than meets the eye. And we'll, uh, perhaps we'll come back to this one in due course. Uh, anyway, let's head on over and try and solve this, shall we? Light bridge will protect me, of course. And we are over here. Okay. So from here, we can get 
this laser cube. I assume that just respawns the cube. It does indeed. So with the cube there, there's a button there which I hadn't seen before. Now a big question is, will we be able to go through here without getting killed? Yes we will. Right, flip panel. So we can fling over there. I guess that's going to be a permanent for turning on the laser. So maybe we do something like this again. But this time, instead of flinging over there, we're going to fling straight down here. And miss the button as we fly along there. Let's try that again. We have a laser. We'll grab a save spot because now we want to get rid of these turrets. Excellent. All right, so we don't have to worry about the turrets anymore. And so the. I don't know, I kind of feel like we haven't done stuff in order here. It's not going to be that clear cut though, is it? Because we need to get across to the other side and we need to get up into that area over there. I wonder, however, if there is a way. It's not that we don't have the turrets, we can just walk across here, which is really nice. Uh, I wonder if there's a way like to get over here. I wonder if there's anything in this beaches area over here. of the companion cube carries on. Alright, so how can we I wonder if we need to activate the exit condition first. Maybe. Oh, we can't shoot that from there. That's the problem. Anything we could like laser? Uh, I choose um, OBS engine artist. I use uh, original OBS, not Streamlabs OBS. I can't get on with Streamlabs OBS. I find that it's kind of a bit bloat wary and it's like tries to put like loads of overlays and stuff so um yeah i use original obs and i use um the streamlabs chatbot uh for my chat and any commands that i need setting up and bits and pieces um but yeah that's it that's pretty much it 
Your college is going well crazy. Good to hear. Good to hear. What are you um what are you doing at college? I don't know if we've had that conversation and if we have I apologize for not taking more notice. missing here because there's got to be a way I'm just going to fly over here just to speed things up a minute mm -hmm. I don't necessarily need that I'm pretty sure as well I bet that's tactically positioned um, debris there so when I drop this and not hit the catcher. Oh, it will. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. So I don't need that. Okay. All right, so now my exit condition is... There's a games developer. Nice. I've said it before, I, I kind of wish with my degree that I'd um, I'd have gone more into game design and, and like games as opposed to sort of like just like a generalized degree at university. Not so much game design but like game programming at least. I kind of wish I'd have done more of that. Alright, well... Um, I'm not sure how we do this. I wonder though, is there a way into there? Level two core, level two course in digital and IT. Okay. What sort of um, what sort of level of complex? What what sort of things are you doing with that? Uh, crazy. Just sort of like networking and stuff, or. Programming. Oh, nice. Can you um can you give us any more information? On like the sort of like what what we could expect from it, um engine? Alright, well I'm not sure how to um, not sure oh hey look at that there's a hole straight through to the sky didn't notice that before that's pretty neat not sure how we open that door the puzzle itself is relatively straightforward This is like another hidden BTS area somewhere that I can access. All right, well that's fair enough. If you keep everything under wraps, then uh, do I'm sure Mika will keep us uh, posted when there's uh, any developments. We don't hear them from yourself, but uh, you know we're a, a community of uh, avid puzzle puzzlers and love a good puzzle game, so. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it'll definitely be of interest to a lot of people around here. Hmm.
Well, I don't think we're going to be rescuing this companion cube because I can't. I'm really not sure. Be on all platforms, and it's a uh, first person. There's a button I need to press or something I need to enable here. Activate this secret. Oh, you fiddle around with DSLR camera night. It's a nice. Um, I think that's the only one I missed, wasn't it? Are you doing some form of um, photography then, Doctoress? I do try and keep up with all messages, so I do apologize if I miss um, some. That's why I could never cope being like a streaming with hundreds of thousands of people in chat because I'd never be able to uh, keep up with everybody. Yo, iron smeltery. What is going on? You want me to post a check already? Christ, jeez. You walk through the door and it's the first thing you want me to do. You're so demanding. Man, jeez. And that wants me to hydrate. Jeez, God. I'm trying to solve puzzles here, guys. Come on. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I kid. Um. I, I, I don't know how to get this companion cube. No way to shoot the gap through the door. It's in level three animation game design and v, v, visual v, the visual FX course. Nice. Is that crazy? Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, buddy. Appreciate it as always. Uh yeah. If nobody's got nobody else has got any ideas on this, uh, I might just leave it for now. I don't know what I'm missing. Unless I can... So I'm going to leave it. If I'm honest, I think, to be fair, they would like the bigger streamers. They um, they just don't get a chance. I don't think they get to respond to people's messages. So then you, you kind of, in bigger streamers, you, you see it quite a lot. You get people who are constantly kind of like trying to get the streamer's attention. They're constantly like repeating the same messages over and over. But I, I definitely wouldn't be able to... Uh, cope with that many messages. Christ. 
You'd have to put the chat in slow mode for sure. Can I get in the door? Thank you. A stretch has been missed as well. Jeez. Even in slow mode, though, when you've got like hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of people in your chat, it's still like hard to maintain because slow mode just like makes it every thirty seconds, I think, doesn't it? So. All right, I'm giving up. This Easter egg is beyond me. But I don't know how to unlock the door. Uh, but other than that, though, it's a pretty cool map. It's um, got some nice-looking visuals and some nice ammo work attached to it. So, um, yeah. Pretty awesome. And I'm glad that it uh, came back on the workshop. Excellent stuff. All right, the next map is not the next one in our queue. We've actually got to go to the bottom because it should be... Uh, a sheepdog map called Ascension. Now, um, this is a new version of the map, which um, Sheepdog has uh, released. So um, we're going to play the new version as opposed to the old one. And if we look at the description, uh, we've got some hexadecimal numbers there. Yes, it's a re-upload, but the solution is slightly different. Special thanks to Bullfrog Places. And difficulty is six. This is a remake of my test paths, which has been private for a while due to B-Mod glitches. If you're interested in seeing the, what the original test looked like, here is the solutions video. Watching it may spoil points of this Ascension Solutions. The facts unintended to jump over a gap off a cube. The black cube has one second deactivation timer just so you do not accidentally reset the cube. Black orange square conductive plate works the same as cube button. One under the black cube dropper is portable and the exit and is exit criteria. No exploits. Move with WASD unless you've rebanched keys. You should add that to the description. Move to mouse to aim, mouse button to shoot portal, space bar to speak. To speak. And we've got a Maestro map, uh, music, sorry, music, Maestro track, which is uh, track 15 from Maestro. Is that the actual name of the song? Track 15. We've got the Libby Bapper bars there to stop us from doing some things and stuff. Here is Exit Criteria, which is uh, stairs by the looks of it. So. Interesting. Stop motion techniques. Actually, I probably need to up my um, just up my audio. I turned it down because of the there was a track the other day, wasn't there? And we turned it off because of that. Right. How are we gonna get going? Probably not like that. But we've lost our mind. I should have really tried to like fling over there, but we can just walk around here instead. Looks like we got a, a reset in this direction. We've got quite a lot of laser relay stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. Really? Not see anything like that before. Thanks, Mika. There, we can go through this portal onto this side. Okay, it's given us a cube. Now, gotta be wary of that. We don't want to be hitting that too many times. We've got a cube up there, I don't know if it's decorative or whether or not we'll be able to 
use it momentarily. But if we go back now, looks like the cube has given us a light bridge. Now, it's quite interesting here, though, is if we were to move that cube or portal it somewhere else, like here, for instance, we'd then be stuck here. So, it's fair to say that's not good. Did I play buoyancy on stream? Um, I don't know. Uh, the name doesn't ring a bell. So I don't... I don't believe we've played it yet. To answer your question. So... Um... Don't think. Oh, the light bridge isn't this. Okay. I thought the light bridge was this, but it is not. Now, if I was to get the cube. I'm just trying to think. If I got the cube, was there a way to intersect that somehow? And it appears not. Hmm. Okay. I haven't seen it requested at them, to be fair. <laughs> I haven't seen it pop up in the uh, in the request list. Gone, Libby. How you doing? All right, we'll take this. And stuff. I guess it needs to go through both to activate that. Ah, oh. that's for that one. What's going on here with this? Is that all right? So that's just controlling everything then, right? Mm, no, I like that online. It is on there. Okay. Then it's in the Q atom. Estimated play date. Sometime. <laughs> All right, so. I are bad at this game. <laughs> well, I think we all know Libby. Once round the Libby Bapper map is more than enough. <laughs> For anybody. With the utmost respect. <laughs> Of course. Where am I going from here? So, right, Doctress, take it easy, buddy. Let's 
some interesting geometry down there, isn't it? Alright, we're not doing a lot here with this at the minute. Can I... Can I get back to the upper area? It appears not. We are stuck here. We're marooned on a small island. In an endless sea. Confined to a tiny spit of sand. Unable to escape. I feel like I feel like three sentences took you three hours to translate. Yikes. Alright, so I need to use the cube with the laser to go through there somehow. Now, the issue I have is... Do that from over here. I really need the light bridge to walk across to here to be able to proceed from here I believe now yeah the issue, the, the big issue we've got is bootstrapping that laser there is no way to bootstrap that laser with a single cube and retain oh oh tell a lie there is there is there is there is I think I've seen something All right. so what are we doing here we need to go back the light bulb has switched on to there, we go to there, then we go to here. Then we're going to stand here. And we'll do hopefully Excellent. Okay. Now from here we can do I gotta intersect this directly though. This is where the problem comes in maybe. Or maybe not. Okay. I have completely missed hitting that though. Yeah, so that's the problem. So what I need to do here is I need to... I need to get the laser in place. There. Somehow. Could of course just reload the save, but yeah, the laser needs to go into place. There, pointing over there, for the simple fact that I can then use the light bridge. Hmm. 
guess I can't do that then. Ah, uh, yes, you did. <laughs> you did. Um, do you want to tell me the secret behind it, Atom? Conclan with the five month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Good to see you as always. There we go. We have a light bridge. Excellent. Alright. We can jump up. We can go across. Alright. We are in a second area. Working hard or hardly working? You got trapped in there with the companion cube. But how do you open the door? That's the $64 million pound question. How do you open the door? The other question here is... Oh, I can walk through here. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I can walk through here. I just can't take cubes through the bars. That's right. Oh, and I can walk through there. Okay, well that, that clears that up somewhat. Got a slow new worker that you have to help out, so you're basically one and a half men. Are you still having like the uh are you still having like the staff turnaround issues that you were having a while ago? Alright, so I can I wonder if Right, so now I've, I've done that, actually, I can take this cube up, right? I don't need to worry about that at the moment. Who we got here? We got Nerdlin with the two-month resub on the... Uh, on the prime, a hype train is hype train is closed, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, though, uh, Nerdlin. Appreciate that uh, for the uh, the two months. That prime, it was a prime as well. Yeah, you can use your prime anywhere on the on Twitch, and you chose to use it here. So yeah, I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You were screaming, not me, Doctress and Crazy, to open the doors. Take care, Clonkan. Have a, have a good shift, buddy. Alright, so, what I could do here, actually, is... Uh, you did! Yes, you did, Shy Gal Coco. We uh, actually played it as the first map today on stream. Welcome to the stream, though. Hope you're well. That's the way we can get across here. 
And we could respawn. We're going to need to respawn the cube maybe here, aren't we? We did spend a bit of time looking at the um, the companion cube, but I couldn't work out how to. Uh, I couldn't work out how to open how to open the door. Unfortunately. All right, so I don't think that was the right thing to do, if I'm completely honest. But, hey, we'll, we'll go up here first. It gives us access to the upper area. Looks like we've got some torrents over here. Did I save? All right, let's go back a minute. But no, you're welcome. It's a, it's a really nice looking map, Shigal. Really nice looking map. Okay, so if I want to keep the laser... I think I can keep the laser, can I? Alright, I can't keep the laser. I... Uh... uh no. No, I can't keep the laser unless the cube was over here and pointing in that direction. I don't know, freaking, I, I never learn for mistakes. One of the other doors has a hint to it. One of the other doors has a hint to it. Okay. I give that some thought. I did notice that like one of the doors had been like completely blown up. Um, hmm. You got me thinking now. Uh, I'm um, I'm a software developer. Engine. Uh, I mainly work in um, application development for my company. Um, and I kind of at the minute I'm doing a lot of doing a lot of kind of working like integrating. Systems uh, and working on like a with working a lot with APIs and integrating systems that like pff, normally wouldn't be um, integra in integratable. I come through there. I need the laser here though to give us. I feel like the second cube is like the next big thing here. That gives us that, and that's going to do something with that panel. So how do I get a cube over to here? Yes, yeah, so I'm doing a lot of sort of like automation work at the moment with our um, with our help desk system. Um, so I'm trying to sort of do a lot within our business to automate a lot of the day-to-day -day running and day-to-day -day tasks. different bits and pieces but you know I we we write or I say we it's, it's it's only me that works there works in the department but I kind of do a lot of um, bespoke work as well so um, a lot of our a lot of our clients uh, is like small small business clients and we do I do a lot of what's the what's the laser thing turn off I don't know uh, I do a lot of yeah, sort of integration into um, custom integrations and stuff. I'm just waffling a little bit because at the same time I'm sort of trying to work out what I'm meant to be doing here. So I, I apologise that my uh, descriptions ain't, aren't uh, aren't the best right now.
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I keep looking at... I, I keep looking at Unity every now and again, and I also keep looking at writing like logic stuff for games and things i actually started a few weeks ago working on roughly um like a it's, it's like a bit of an rpg engine kind of thing so you'd have like your character and then you'd have all your um equipment and things and then there'd be like a certain chance of a certain attack type or a certain battle type and i kind of started fleshing that out but a lot of my problem is i don't have a lot of spare time so it's a very much a balancing act of like um, streaming, which is like my number one priority in my spare time when I can. Um, juggling my family, like my kids and everything. Um, I have, I, I do DJing, I do photography. I've got loads of stuff. I, t I tell you what I should specialize in. I should specialize in just um, streaming Idle Heroes for like about 100 odd hours straight without a break sorry there was a break actually there was a there was a nice little reddit break yesterday which i, I thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> what's going on there the amount of comments i've had the amount of comments and questions i've had from people because of you over the last week <laughs> uh all right i uh yeah i'm Mesh confused. So what? Now I'm pretty sure if I was to cause that cube to respawn. So what you're saying, Deathwish, is the key to Twitch is find a game that you can just leave running in the background for hundreds of hours, unattended, and uh, you'll be the next big Twitch superstar. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's one of uh, Libby Bapper's custom items, I believe, um, Shy Gal. See, what I'm thinking here is once we've got the laser activated via the cube there, then we will be able to fling the black cube over. But until then, I don't think... I don't think we can do it. So that then brings me to... Back to... How could I... How can I Oh, hold on. Mm, it doesn't intersect. Just wondering how I can keep the laser and go up there. I think that's the key. was to do this where can I I can see that panel there right I think that's probably the only one I can see okay what if over here they're an intersecting point um, I don't think I can see this from here over there can I hidden by that geometry there. I'm just trying to see if there's a way that I could use a different portal in the cube to go through there. From there, I'm on the lift. 
the only port, two ports of succeed is that and that. I think the problem is I can't. I don't think I can redirect. This surface here has no intersecting points. Oh, I'm so stupid. Am I? Maybe. Yeah. Alright, I think I see how to do this. Could I not just do... Take the cube over here and just block the laser... Uh, I can't block the laser because it's on a different height. Huh. I've heard lots of people's I've heard a couple of people say that they've um they've tried uh portal in VR and the the scale of everything is just ridiculous. I hear the same about uh, for, about Minecraft actually. People have said the same sort of thing um, about that. That like a block is like a meter tall. So you, you like look at two blocks high, it's actually high like it's up here. So if you've got like something that's like scaled quite high uh, uh, like a big build height in Minecraft apparently it looks like absolutely ridiculous in VR. So I've heard. Well, I can respawn the cube. Respawn the cube doesn't do anything for me, though, does it? I bet it's like, I, uh, yeah, I, I bet it's quite frightening, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I think I could jump down into here, but that's not going to help me at all, is it? Alright, so the question remains, how do we block this laser just enough time just enough so that we can get to where we want to get? That is the sixty four million dollar pound question. Unless I'm looking at this completely wrong, which wouldn't surprise me. To be honest, there's no portal surfaces at all. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Get down to here now. 
overlooked that before, don't we? Oh, hello, sneaky panel. Why didn't we see that one before? Big sneak. Okay, I think we might be able to do it like this. Alright, so... I mean, we totally could. But... We need to go back. We need to clear everything else, don't we? This is interesting, though. This implies that we're going to fling over to there at some point. Or fling the cube over there, at least. But you see, the only way back now is through a fizzler and um, we would have to reset the position we'd have to reset the cube so they're putting it there at the moment uh doesn't really serve any purpose oh are you 100 percent sure that we need to keep the label. Let's double check again. Half Life Alex Portal Mod. You talking about Mika? All right, so. What I have deduced from here then is in order to access that button from anything else other than that cube we need to bring the other cube over here. I think what you're sort of saying is that there's like there's like little there's the small room to kind of play around too much i.e. you're very restricted as to where you can move to in the chamber at what time whereas having like an open chamber with like variable port varying portal surfaces allows you to sort of like traverse the chamber freely i i get what you're saying but at the same time i think that's kind of like part and parcel of um like more some more ad advanced like chamber designs as well I quite like it when a chamber has like very few elements and very few portal surfaces, yet it's still very complex and difficult to solve. So I think that's like very, very clever design. I don't see it really too much as a frustration because I do a lot of like no clipping around from time to time, just so I sort of like see where things are. So um, yeah, it's not an overly big frustration for me, but I can see your point. I, I totally see your point. We've got to use a cube somehow, I think. Either to A, redirect the portal. Uh, yes, I have played the Talos DLC, but I, I've, I've only played through the DLC once. So, there isn't really... Um, there isn't really anything that kind of like sticks in my head from... The only thing that sort of sticks into my head from the um, Road to Gehenna was like the amount of... The amount of um, like reading. I, I, I found that quite frust um, infuriating, if I'm honest. I, I found that there was a lot of story in the DLC, which I, I know is not a bad thing, but... I don't know, I, I, I felt when I streamed streamed it, I was like reading more than I was actually solving puzzles. That's like probably the only thing I can really remember about um, 
if I'm honest. <sighs> Don't see how I can block the laser. I really need to go back and um, play Talos again though. I haven't given it enough time, if I'm honest. that sentence because I can't. I've been thinking about rerunning Witness as well, to be fair. Although I don't think that's probably a good idea because I've been watching after you like linked it in the uh, after you linked it in the Discord, Mika. I've been watching um, the uh, cracking the cryptic guy play it. So playing the witness probably replaying the witness at the minute isn't probably the best thing because I've got quite a few of the solutions. Um, or I can remember a lot of the sort of puzzles from watching that at the moment. So. It's probably not best. Yeah, The Witness is a real awesome game. Why? Oh, it's in the wrong... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and I played, um, after I played The Witness, I did go and play, um, I played through Braid as well, and Braid is um, another fantastic game. There's, um, there's an hour-long documentary on um, YouTube, actually. It's not really so, so, so much of a documentary, but there's a guy from, and he's doing like a, a game development talk of some description, and it's somebody who... I don't know if he was like a lecturer or a teacher for Jonathan Blow, but he was like in, um, he was in like contact and like there was a lot of back and forwards while he was like developing the witness. It's a real interesting watch because um, it kind of like delves into like some of the process and, and the thought that went into and the design changes that went into the, uh, the game as they sort of progressed. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name though. And yeah, I kind of I I would agree with you there, Shigal. Um, you know, I know some some solutions can't help it, but it is it can be frustrating for a player when you have to redo elements and, and items over and over again. I concur. Uh, I'm I I don't know what I'm doing here.
having the cube over here unlocks so much, like, so much because there's the ability then to come up to here for whatever I need to do up here. Again, I feel like it would be respawn the cube, fling the cube over here to me kind of deal, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have no idea how we're going to get back up here. That's just completely baffling. I guess we could light bridge it. But to light bridge it, we would need the cube on the laser. It's there. Maybe intersecting both. We have to do it with the cubes only. So that this opens up, then we can use the light bridge to walk across here. And then I still don't think light bridge would be tall enough. Uh. Yeah, um... Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've seen that before, actually. It's, um, it's pretty neat. There are some, like, real, um advanced signages that you can do in bmod now though um i don't know if it was by no clip or not but it was literally the guys um the guy who in question it was his full um lecture and his full talk and he kind of did it to the oh, i'm not gonna say actually because it's my spoilers let me see if i can um That's what I think it's called. I think it's called The Secret of Psalm 46. Although, no, that's not the... Secret of Psalm 46 is redacted. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Did I find all the Easter eggs and secrets in Talos? Um, I don't think I did. I know I got the cat ending. I know I found the um, the cube room. I know I found the um, I found the money man. I found the portal easter egg. Um, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if there was I don't know if there's anything else. I don't know if I found anything else.
I'll happily do another playthrough of uh, the Talos if you guys uh, are up for it. The, the reason I say that is because I never actually... When I originally played the Talos Principle, I didn't record it for YouTube. So I would happily replay Talos um, for a YouTube series. Just beat level 100. What, on the uh, idle heroes. There is no way at all to do anything with this, is there? Well, this is here, that suggests I could walk over there with a light bridge. I need a way to... I need a way to intersect this. Or get at least get the cube. The only portal I can hit is that one over there. When I'm... Mm, not 100% true. The only one I can freely hit while I'm over there. See what I found funny, Deathless. When I the other day when I was just I I popped in just to see if he was there and I left the message. Um, literally the moment as I um, typed a message in chat, one of the bots that was in your chat followed me straight away. <laughs> do you want to do something like this? Where I want to not respawn the cube. straight away. But it would have to be a shot from... I need the laser here. Going on, Mike. All of the portal surface I can see from there, while I got the laser, are all in a dip. Therefore, doesn't help me. 
So I'm, I think I'm looking for the wrong thing. I'm, I'm looking to do the wrong thing. But if that's not what I need to do at the minute, I don't know. I genuinely don't know what it is I'm meant to do. And that's worrying. Yo, sheepdog. And Mikey's here. What's going on, Mikey? How you doing? Don't take the stream down, Deathwish. That's why you need a second computer to stream from your second computer, so you can do whatever you like. Is there something else I can do here? So, I've already deduced that I can put a portal there, right? So, I can't do that though. I was thinking about could I respawn the cube? Nope, that's not going to work. I honestly I don't know Deathwish. I don't know what would happen, man. I don't know how Twitch sort of handles that. Whether it would boot like the old connection off, where it just like whether it would um just completely block the new one. Just gonna have to leave it then. You're just gonna have to leave it running. Proper in a model here. Yeah, Grayton's can. Uh Ratings can really obscure your view from time to time. Not the best. I might be maybe missing something on that side when I get up the top.
certainly that wasn't going to work. Massive long shot. How far away is the intersect though there? Uh, quite a way. More than likely going to hit that to cause the respawn before it does anything else. So let's not let's not overlook that upper area. Yes, I, I mean, what else do we do here? So we get rid of this one. We drop down here. That's interesting. Is that interesting? Maybe it's not interesting. Okay. Um Okay. What if from here said the cursed number death wish Did something. Does that something help? Why is this going to come through here? It could come through here, though. So the hydrate shot gun. <laughs> Noisiest bottle in the world. All right, from here. I didn't uh, respawn that then. Now I could. Ooh. Yeah. Something like this. Go 
even though it doesn't help. Man. <clears throat> Death wish is the reason we don't have a Half Life 3 or Portal 3 confirmed. If I shoot there, it's going to respawn the cube. Let's rewind a minute to this scenario. See, I can put this here. The, the, the big is... Sorry, I stood. The big... The big problem I have is... I was confident that the cube... He would have to move to break the sight, line of sight for the laser. The only place we can shoot is there, and then we don't have... I still remember when Microsoft announced um, Windows 10 in their like whole like big conference to announce it, and they literally used the joke, "There's no nine because seven, eight, nine. And I was like, "How old are you, five? Well, I think half the problem here is I honestly am not sure what my next move is. I can't have anything like through here. I can call I could cause that to respawn. But what I'm thinking about, I would need the laser to persist through here, which isn't gonna be possible. That points straight through to there. Um, Sheepdog, can I ask you, like, a question? And it's only a... I only want a yes or a no answer. I don't want anything else. But... 
Is my... Is my next move... To keep the laser and get up here? Is that my next move? Okay. That's all I want to know. Just to make sure I'm on the right... At least... Barking up the right tree slightly. Welcome back, Doctress. Hope you're well. Keep the laser, whatever I need to do. We never get stressed in this channel. We just think hard until our brain explodes. In the, you know, seven or eight years of like, the seven or eight years of streaming on this channel, I can, I can wholeheartedly say there is only one moment I've had a proper, um, like rage moment. Everything else has just been taken in its stride and we've just sort of, um, gone with it. And if you want to see that rage moment, it is actually on YouTube. In uh, what can only be described as um, one of the most frustrating ever puzzles I have done in my life. If I'm stood here, the only place I can shoot is there. Standing there, however, causes the laser to go through there and through there. So how do we, how do we stop it from going through there? Because that's, that's what we need, right? We need to stop it from going through there. I'm going to recheck up here, but I'm pretty sure. There is no portal surfaces over here that we can use at all. So the move has to be done over here. Is there a way I don't think there is I was just thinking is there a way I could persist the laser through there but have the cube here as well and be here 
Because if I could make that happen... Literally stand here and shoot there. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. get back across there. That bar near the end next to the vertical lift cut in half. Uh, possibly. Yeah. But I guess it's if it's maybe an object like that's been built then maybe it's built on a where the bar is actually kind of like there, like half bar on the end, on both ends, in case it's joined. <clears throat> I don't know actually, because then this one makes sense with this one. What a weird spaced, weirdly spaced. Are they all individual items or? I think they'd kind of be like every quarter tile, wouldn't you? Or on like the joint of the quarter tile, a bit like the one in the middle was here. Maybe Libby can... Uh... Ah, there is an option. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That doesn't help because that just kills my ability to get across to there, doesn't it? We're so limited as to where we can shoot a portal from, but I just cannot see where to, like... The only place we can legitimately shoot portal 2 from that lift is there but that causes the cube to respawn so if we're blocking Um, jeez. I 
worry about it, Doctress. It's fine, buddy. You do what you got to do. Finished two blender projects? Nice. What have you been working on? A chair and a donut. I think um, Sleek Cat a while ago, he was working on a donut as well. And it's um, pretty freaking awesome. The actual like um, end result, and like did like he did some with like all different glazes and things on them as well. Post it in the chat or just send it um, or, or DM me and I'll, I'll uh, take a look. See, I, I kind of know what's going to happen next. It's like we're going to get the. That core is going to cause that panel to like flick up. And then we respawn the cube and we fling it across to here and this this then opens this up. And then that makes getting up there a doddle. Because we can shoot the laser to there. The fact that there is nowhere at all It's a big boo, isn't it? Um, the fact that there is nowhere at all that I can see to shoot portals and it's just like it's gotta be down to the position of this cube and I don't know where to put it. I'm not sure that the uh, the consistency though and the texture of it would be too great showing out if I'm honest. Be a bit yikes. We tried that. That didn't make a difference. Good. I think I came in puzzle, puzzle to be fair. That's not good. I don't think that's right. That's like that's abusing a laser angle but look at that's coming through there I don't even think that would help me anyway because the minute I shoot that on there it causes the thing to respawn it doesn't But it hits that, so it doesn't help me at all anyway. 
Don't panic, sheepdog. I'm just going for the... I'm just going for, like, the big break strats now. <laughs> Yay, we broke it! We broke it! <laughs> We did what we wanted to do, even if we broke it. Just to, you know, just confirm that is not correct. And I'll go on my merry way. So let's continue breaking it some more. I was taught by the best. See, I kind of feel from there what I could do. We'll just count playing from it because I just want to test some stuff. Uh huh. All right. So then, let's play. Our favourite game of all. Let's pretend we did knock. So, let's pretend we did this. We jumped down here. And uh, we went through here like that. Yoink. And then we did something like this. But we'd actually need to, like... Shoot the portal a little bit better than that. If we could. And that's how we get that over to there. Funny you say that, Deathwish. I could never get to grips with the um, the level editor in Unreal Tournament 2004. Now. Kind of guess the next move from there. That, I mean, that cube on there matters if I'm honest. So we would do that. Oh, it totally does matter actually. and we could then do kind of that. Although we need both cubes to do that, but we can now go and retain the red cube. So yeah, we could totally do this. To get this cube. And then we respawn the other cube. So I've got the rest of the map, like, figured out. In the sense. You see, this becomes a lot easier now, because...
I can shoot this to here now and persist that. would then let me do things and stuff. I really feel like I shouldn't be doing this though because I really need to work out the other segment. What I could do here, though... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um... That there... I could potentially bootstrap that relay there. With the red cube. Possibly. Which would give me more freedom on the other cube. It would also give me a permanent light bridge. Um, did though do the light bridge I think you can do that in Hammer as well, though, can't you, Engine? I'm sure you can just, like, make a solid brush and then carve it out, but it's kind of... I think it's 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 a bit frowned upon from doing it that way. I think. Uh, I don't know, because I'm sure you can just... I'm sure you can just holler out solid brushes in the same sort of way. I might be wrong. I'm no hammer expert. I, I you know, I've dabbled with it from time to time. But, um... Um, yeah. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on hold because I don't really want to proceed until... I have worked out that move and I think I've sat here for long enough tonight trying to work out that move. So next time we stream Portal, which will be sometime, <laughs> um, we will um, come back to it. And hopefully a uh, time away and, and a bit of a break will give me a, like a, a fresh um, insight onto that. So I do just want to though, before I... Um, I call the stream because uh, yeah, we are getting on a bit. Um, we're going to go back to Crossfire. We're going to go back to Crossfire. We're going to go see if we can't um, work out this, uh, this little old secret here. So, obviously, we've got the secret up here. The 
So that Mika. So yeah. It's how we get in here. Now, I think it may have something to do with this. So I have an idea. I have an idea. Now the problem with this idea is The problem with this is I got rid of the turrets before by lasering. So, once again, let's play. Let's pretend. Because I absolutely love a game of Let's Pretend. Now we have solved this chamber, so I'm just going to kind of skip a little bit. But what if we do... this... Hello. And then we're going to get the laser. Ha. That's not the solution. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will resist the urge to no clip around. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we should uh, take more note of, just of the signage here. Cube first. No, I am not. Right, we will get the cube. Yeah, that did that. Then it turns on the laser. I'll direct the camera. That's a good point. Good point. I don't like Gladys watching us. All right, so now. We don't need the cube anymore. So, how do we... Out of the way. 
laser. Interesting. Okay. The light bridge knocks the turret over. Debris stopping me from walking through there. Target lost. Please All right, we'll go through this way. I guess the triggers are broken again still. I did something wrong again. Restart. <laughs> I will sort I, I will work this out. I will work this out. Try. Yeah, look at that. We can do that as well. So, I think. If we can't walk over there, I would assume laser that turret, use the light bridge to walk across, then take that one up to the other area. The wall takes you back up here. Yeah. 
can't bunny hop in the uh, can't bunny hop in the water. Yay! I blew the bloody doors off. In the words of Michael Caine. Hey, where's my? Hey, where did the freaking companion cube go? <laughs> Memory of Devon. That's somebody I've not seen on the workshop for a while. Oh. Wait. You can burn chairs? What was, oh, I can't, I'm trying to think of the comment now. It was, um, they kind of like had like a generic com comment pretty much for every single map. And it was something like, um, sufficiently lit or good puzzles to sufficiently lit or something, or well made sufficiently lit. That's it. I didn't realize it passed away, yo. Uh, sad to hear. You tease me with cake and a companion cube, uh, shy gal, and I can't take either of them. That's just. I can't even leave it. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. That's. Uh, sorry to hear that. They will be forever known for their or made sufficiently lit comments, definitely. Alright, well. We did it. We solved the Easter egg. Easter egg hunt is over. I have to say, though, like, that's a, a cool little Easter egg you put in there as well. Have all, like, the different triggers and things, and, uh, and that, that was pretty cool. And like I said originally, like, the, the, the hammer work here is, is pretty good for an overgrown style as well. I don't know if, um, I don't know if overgrown is, like, a particularly easy style to work with, but... Certainly did a very good job indeed, shy gal. So uh, yeah, good job. Thank you very much indeed. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's uh, pretty much going to bring us to the uh, end of the stream, guys. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. Hope you've had uh, fun. We've only like got through. Well, we haven't even got through two maps tonight. It's um, definitely the uh, the the sheepdog map is. Something else. It's um, quite tricky and like very limited movement. So we'll give that some thought. We'll probably hopefully come back to that on, let's think, uh, Monday next week. Uh, tomorrow night and for the rest of the week, we will be playing uh, back to Evo Land 2. So I don't know how how much more we've got of that to play. I think we're about uh, about nine hours in, I think, into the playthrough. I think somebody did say it was roughly about 16. So we might have like two or three more streams of Everland, depending on um, how quickly we can get through bits and pieces. But um, yeah, been absolutely loving that game. So uh, very excited to get back to it. Um, we'll be one stream less next week. Um, I just got to go away and um, gotta spend some time in London next week. So and um, will be one stream less. So only two streams next week. Just to, But as always, you can always check the schedules page on the channel, which I do try to keep up to date with when uh, streams will be happening. But uh, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. As always, I really do appreciate the support. Thank you very much to Nerdling Conklan and Mika for their uh, recurring uh, subscriptions. You guys are absolutely awesome. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care and uh, stay safe. And until next time, Happy gaming.
Bye, guys.